So for question 23, so we look at question 23. Uh, question 23 kita dalam bentuk pecahan uh, in the fraction form. You have numerator, you have denominator. So we can test our formula. So if you want to test our formula, it will be in the pattern of integrating. So fx up here, f prime x. So we are using this formula equals to ln fx. So plus c. So we're going to test is it in this kind of pattern. Okay, so our first step we were going to define our function as numerator function, denominator function. So our denominator function here is 1 minus e2x. So nothing we can simplify. We can just straight forward and testing our formula here. So if our denominator function here is 1 minus e2x, we try to differentiate. So when we differentiate, differentiate 1, differentiate constant, we get 0. Differentiate exponential, sunning balik, so our land, differentiate power there. So we supposedly to get negative 2e2x. So we look at our questions here. So our questions here, we get the same function, exponential function. Just the coefficients are in difference. So our coefficients here, they are different. Coefficient here is 1, but coefficient here is negative 2. But we need, if we want to apply this formula, we need negative 2 e to x. So what can we do for these questions? In order to get this coefficient, we are going to multiply in our coefficient negative 2 e to x. When we multiply it into our fraction here, in order to maintain back our questions, we have to divide our coefficient negative. Divide by this negative 2. Okay, so this is how we do it. Multiply our negative 2. So at the same time, divide. So when you do divide, it will be 1 over negative 2. Divide this negative 2. In order, in order to get this is the f prime x differential function this is our function so we get that pattern so once we get that pattern means we can do our integration so our integration will give us go back to the answer of long so long fx so our fx will be so look at our fx will be our function at denominator 1 minus e to x plus c so that will be our answer by solving this by using formula. So how to get this? Six marks. So actually you can solve this by substitution also. So I would prefer using formula because using formula, as, as long as we can use formula, it will be easier than using substitution method. So if in order to get this, we will straight away give you six marks because just short money. If you want to split it one by one, it, it, then there will be C looking on how you define your function, how you do your differentiation and get to the answer, and then how we multiply in our coefficient and integrate it correctly. So this is how we get these six, these six marks.